So we're gonna do a competition to try to win this prize. A full gaming PC, oh, Jesus which Christ. is in here. We're gonna be doing a GTA race for this. No. <laughs> oh, oh, you rude ass kid. Martin's over here sabotaging people. No, I just got flipped. Hey. Oh, yeah. oh. Hey, If you've been following my channel for a while, then you know that I'm very passionate about throwing LAN parties with my very close group of friends. More recently, I've been trying to help people within the LAN group with PC upgrades. It's my way of saying thanks for being such an awesome friend over the many years and uses my skill set in the best way that I know how to in order to elevate those around me. My friends have never ever asked me for a free PC or for free parts. They come to me for PC advice or for me to help them deal hunt stuff, but they never expect free handouts. So whenever I am able to give away a free PC upgrade, it's not because they asked for it, it's instead because I choose to do so on my own. So to all the random strangers in the back that always ask for free PCs, take note. We just had a LAN party recently, and this time around I wanted to do something nice for my friend Martin. Similar to the story of most of the LAN group, I've known Martin since middle school, so that's going back over 20 years by now, and it was playing Yu-Gi-Oh! during lunch and after school that brought us together. And it was in high school that we became even closer friends and started having small land parties that would eventually evolve into what we do now. One fun fact about Martin is that he's among the few people that have attended every single land party since I started this YouTube channel. If you go back to the beginning of the land party story series, you'll see that he's been in each and every single one. He's one of those homies for life, so let's hook him up proper. Amazon product reviews are pretty much garbage nowadays. I rarely look at them anymore because it's mostly broad reviews or people who leave five stars just for the product showing up. This is where Luster comes in. It's a free browser extension that helps you get the information that you need before making a purchase decision. I'm talking about trusted, in-depth reviews from well-known sources that we all know in the tech community. It also recommends similar products and groups them up at different price points so that I can make the comparison myself and choose what's best for me and my own budget. I really like it and I think you will too. You can learn more about Luster by clicking on the link down in the description below and if it seems useful to you, definitely give it a try. Thanks for checking it out and now let's get back to the video. This is what is gonna make up Martin's new gaming PC. For the processor, he's getting an Intel i7-10700K. While it's not the newest gen Intel offering, it's still a great CPU for his uses, which is pretty much solely gaming. And it's a decent upgrade in both threads and clock speeds from the 10400 that he's currently using. The motherboard paired with it is the ASUS Prime Z490P. His current motherboard probably would have worked just fine too, but for these upgrades, I try to put together a standalone full working system that doesn't rely on parts from my friend's existing systems. The graphics card in Martin's new PC will be the EVJ RTX 3060 Ti for the Win 3 Ultra. This is the card that I got through a trade on offer up recently. The card I traded away for it was a Gigabyte Eagle OC model. It was a grayish turquoise color that made it stick out and really hard to match. And it was also a much smaller card that wouldn't fill up a case as much and it would look pretty awkward with the case that we're using for this build. So that's why I traded it away for this three fan neutral colored beast of a card that is a much better fit. I don't recall Martin ever having a current graphics card in all the time that he's been PC gaming, so he will definitely enjoy this card as it's a pretty big step up from his current GTX 1070, a card that he also bought secondhand years after it was released. Next up we have an RGB backplate with an epic image of a cherry blossom tree, which I want to give a huge thanks to V1 Tech for sending over. Cherry blossoms are one of Martin's favorite things, so much so that he has one tattooed on his body. So what better way to make this super personalized for him than to incorporate one into his build. V1 Tech also made a matching sack bracket for the same image. So be sure to check them out if you're looking to take customizing your PC to a whole nother level. They have plenty of existing designs to choose from or you can upload a custom design of your choosing like I did for this one. This turned out super clean and I know Martin will love it. Corsair also offered their hand to help make this build happen, so huge thanks to them as well. They sent over some parts to fill out the rest of the system, including 32GB of Vengeance RGB RAM in a 4x8 configuration at 3200MHz. This is double Martin's current RAM capacity and will be more than he needs for a long time to come. To cool the CPU, they sent over an IQ H100i Elite LCD AIO, which is going to be really nice for this build because I know Martin really likes the customization that LCD AIO coolers have. He commented on it when Jan got his new build, so I definitely wanted him to have one as well. For storage, Martin's getting the biggest SSD he's ever had, a whopping 2TB Corsair MP400 Gen 3 NVMe drive. He already has some drives in his current system with all his files on them, so he'll be keeping those and moving them over into this new PC, but this new drive 
5 will be a fresh operating system start for him and we will have plenty of room for his favorite games and programs. Powering the system will be the Corsair RM650X, a fully modular 80 plus gold efficient power supply that's ranked in the A tier of the popular power supply tier list. I also picked up some sleeve cable extensions for this because while the stock cables are plain black and don't look terrible, the combed look and accented colors just look way better. Last but not least, the case. Corsair sent over their newly released IQ5000T to help out with this project. This is a very premium, very well built case that integrates a number of their products into one. With 6 RGB strips built in, 3 of their LL120 fans pre-installed in the front, and their Commander Core XT which is used to control the fan speeds and RGB throughout the case. This is by far the most expensive case I've ever built in. To be honest, when Corsair initially reached out wanting to send this case over, I had to be upfront with them and let them know that there's no way I could fit something this expensive into one of my typical build guide videos. I told them though that I could feature it in a special project that I was working on where I was helping a close friend with his PC because Martin's PC case is super old. The case that Martin has been using is the Thermaltake Level 10 GT, which is pretty ancient by now. It came out way back in 2011. He liked that case so much back then that he saved up money specifically to buy it. Back then it was considered very high end and pretty expensive for its time, but now it's just pretty much super dated in every way possible. Uh, so I think it's funny that it works out that he's going to be getting an upgrade from an ancient premium case to a modern day premium case. I built his system a few days before LAN and I got it loaded up with a fresh windows install as well as all the games that we were planning to play so that he didn't have any downtime downloading them and here's how it came out. Martin's going to know that the PC is for him instantly if he sees that back plate on the graphics card. So I'm going to put this on here and say that this is a, a special surprise PC and keep it a secret so that it's not obvious until it's time to pull it open. Can't see anything on the inside, it just looks like a mystery PC. Everything fit. PC is nice and safe near the front. So I could have just given Martin the PC, but that's not really my style. It's not as fun and it lacks a surprise element to it. So to spice it up, I came up with an idea. The idea was to pose a competition along all the land friends where the winner of said competition gets a free PC. I collude with the rest of the land group, minus Martin, and rig the competition so that he wins. Hey, Everyone hey, except for on. Martin and Aretha are here. So, trust us. Just, well, no. A reminder of what's going on tonight, right? Yes, please. So we're going to do the Grand Theft Auto race, and we're going to say the winner gets the brand new PC. Everyone at the last minute, don't win right. first place. Let Martin win it so that we're forcing him to win the PC, essentially. Oh, yeah. Aretha, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Like, what if Aretha wins? What does she know that she still wins it anyway? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Aretha, how much do you love your husband? Let him have his moment. I'll, I'll unveil the computer and break, take it out. Yeah. So just pretend like you're an ooh and all ah when you do see it. Everyone was super down to play along and they were very happy for Martin to be getting a PC upgrade. James also came up with a very good idea to scope out the different races beforehand to find out which one would be most ideal for this competition. Maybe it might be a good idea for somebody to go in and test it now. Cause we need to make sure that it's one that has like that you can see the finish line. Yeah, that's a good point. Before, so that yeah. we know to stop because it would suck if somebody. If someone else won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this? It's a reset. Like, way I would do like back. two laps, man. I can't make this jump. This is bull. 
Oh my god, this car cannot make this jump for some reason. I just missed it for a third time. Oh my god. Go. Wait, what the? Hey. Yeah, oh. I think you have to like tap A the whole time. Alright, so oh, when we actually do this, or we'll do a pra Oh my god, I forgot. When we do this, the practice run, uh, just try to win. And then we'll do a, the real run where we let Martin win. Yeah, because then I, that'll seem a little bit more realistic. Oh my god, we're going so fast. There. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Wow, he flew. God damn it. KG. I'm so sorry. Wait, who was that? Who flew so far in the air? Me. Oh, that was you. <laughs> what? The bicycle one oh, damn. with all of us in it, just like crashing each other, might be the funniest. If someone picks a gigantic car, oh, which is. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh. You can't even drive in a straight line. This thing is terrible. <laughs> I'm dead last. Oh, oh no! Wait, are you guys catching up? Physics, 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 physics. Am I that slow that you guys caught up? James was watching the window from his seat to alert us when Martin and Aretha pulled up in the driveway because they were the last to arrive at land. This gave us time to close out of GTA and he wouldn't suspect anything was up. All right, you convinced me. I'll bet oh. a thousand dollars on me too. Martin and Aretha are here. Are they? Yeah, for real, for real. Alt F4, Alt F4. Are we really? actually doing it? Really? Alt F4, everyone Alt F4. Alt F4. Alt F4. Hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. Welcome. Hello, welcome. Hello, Rita. Hello. Oh, Can everyone follow me <laughs> again and gather up? We're going to the pool room. Oh, jeez. Actually, Casey. So this is actually going to be based on the mini games that we're playing. So we're going to do a competition to try to win this prize. The prize is actually going to be... I see a couch. A full a gaming PC. Oh, Jesus which Christ. Which is in here. What the? We're gonna be doing a GTA race for this. First prize is gonna get it. Thanks. Let me unbox this real quick. <laughs> it actually has a land specific special design in it. What? So we'll, we'll un unveil it afterwards. This is gonna be the system. It is also going to be the highest end PC of the land. Like this is the most powerful PC in this house right now. Hands down, so. I got ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't compete for I this can't. chance, so. I'm still gonna play though. Uh, we'll just be playing for fun, so if we somehow win, it'll be the, the next person who's not us. We're doing a pedal bicycle race. It's gonna be pedaling okay. with a bicycle. Oh, so get your practice in to see <laughs> how to pedal the fastest, get aerodynamic or whatever. Like how we all got real quiet. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, alright, it's the it's, 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 real serious note. It's so quiet. Dude, I'm nervous, and I'm not even like. I know. Like, my heart's racing. My, my heart's racing right now. Tap A, I think. A. Oh, tap A. Yeah, tap A. Tap A. Oh, So I initially thought that doing the bicycle race would be hilarious for this competition. It's kind of slow paced compared to like the car races. You know, everyone would be yelling and screaming. It would be chaotic, all while the characters were looking super funny, uh, peddling their bicycles like their lives depended on it. There was one huge problem though that I did not account for. I, I really don't know how to bike. Hi, nah, hey, Mario, how you doing? Yeah, I have no idea what to do mouse and keyboard. Mine is like the back. Oh, shit. On your mouse, Yeah. Interesting. You're gonna have a weird time. You press. Oh, you are holding W. Martin's controller started having issues, so he had to use the mouse and keyboard to do the race, which apparently has like the worst mm. controls ever for riding bicycles in GTA. So he and anyone else who were on the keyboard ended up doing horrible, and it was pretty much impossible for him to win the race without it being super obvious that it was rigged. The controls were that bad. Martin, I need it. you know what it is? I just realized it's okay. caps lock. We need the one caps lock. It's caps lock to start sprinting on a bike. Serious? Yeah. Oh my god! I just what like looked it up. Bad? So I didn't realize this bike thing is totally unfair, but I I picked also a regular car race as well. Okay, so car, you're good car race. Yeah. Car race. <laughs> car race. Car race. Car race. Hopefully, right? It was weird that the two yeah. two we'll were just like in it, and that was just so the far away. <laughs> God. Yeah. <laughs> I like pulled up in turns like. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. All right, we're starting. Remember, this is a practice round. Oh my God, these trucks are huge. We're <laughs> <laughs> taking up the whole track. <laughs> Uh, no. Oh. 
on the PC, Martin. Thank you. Really nice. Also... <laughs> is that also? Yeah, so... I put a cherry blossom on here because this was meant for you the whole time, oh Martin. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw that and I was like, okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody here was in on it. <laughs> <laughs> we made sure you won the race. We practice, we chose, <laughs> wait, 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 we play. I want the practice though. I yeah. He really won the practice, I really tried to beat him. Yeah, yeah no, the you practice actually round. won the practice round, <laughs> yeah. but in the last <laughs> one, that was people throw. were crashing your stuff on purpose to let you win, but yeah, Martin, this is, yeah, this is a PC for you just oh, because um, we've been bros for a long time and I feel like you have been through a lot, so um, you were like naturally the next person in line to get a PC upgrade and I know you haven't had the most luck like with your house and stuff like that so putting aside money for a new PC just wasn't in the cards a lot of times so hopefully this being in the cards helps you out. <laughs> Thank you, yes it does. Aretha's just looking at me because she thinks I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I hit up Aretha and asked like what color should I do the uh, cu uh, the cable extensions? Mm -hmm. And we like we chose as a group kind of which image. I chose a bunch of different cherry blossoms mm -hmm. because you know that's important to you. And then they help down select to which one. So yep, we formed a book club. Yep, yeah. we formed a book club chat <laughs> without you in it. I can't so. believe you guys. Yeah, the picture is a bush. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, logic behind that. Is that why that kept coming up and like. 
yeah, that's see, why eventually I, I turned the notifications off. So I called it. That's why I didn't want. Yeah. I changed it to a bush so that none of our faces would come up, and you'd be like, <laughs> "Why am I not in that group chat?" <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't spoiled. I tried. I wanted to ask you some stuff today, but you know, because you guys were coming, but I was like, "Oh man, if he sees it, it might ruin it." So, did yeah. you even see the box of this or anything? No, not at all. Is that what? Is this a on purpose like that? He hid it from YouTube. <laughs> We had James walking from that window when you guys pulled oh up. We oh didn't want you guys to see us practicing like the races and stuff. Because we had to pick that, something. That wouldn't have tipped me off to anything. <laughs> I know you guys just like. That's the thing. You guys love to play GTA. Yeah. And sometimes I hop out of that. Yeah. So that wouldn't have tipped me thing. off at all. Wait, how long have you had this old case? other case? I feel like you had it this? forever. Oh, at least a decade, right? I can probably check my new egg history. <laughs> it's gotta be around 2013 like, time frame, I feel. Yeah. It came out in 2011, yeah. I looked it up. <laughs> Give me car. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, or. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. This big case, though, finally being retired. Me too. <laughs> All those lands of you lugging it in every time. Yep. Now I'll be doing that with this one. Yeah, I, the the one, so I, guess it does. Mm -hmm. I only have four hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. This was so cool. Oh, shit. Everything in there is like black and RGB. Mm -hmm. no the pump is just like Jan's. If you click on that one, and then if you go to uh, GIF or image, mm -hmm. I so I, I actually put that. Oh, uh, you can shift it and like make it bigger or smaller, and it'll put the picture there. So that's the same image on the back plate. Is it showing already? Yep. Oh, re already? Yep. Wow. Yeah. Right. That is so fucking cool. If you put dual bar, it'll show. You can oh, set like one of them to okay. like CPU, other GPU. ones to GPU, and you yeah. can change the colors and stuff too. Let's see how well it looks as a background. Hey, nice. Oh, that actually, actually because it's like a painting, yeah. it comes over pretty nicely. You know how much I panicked when. I realized that the keyboard was not good for the bicycle thing. I was like, oh my god, okay, how do I pivot? It, it makes how do a I lot pivot? of sense. <laughs> so I was like, dang, he's, he really wants to make sure everybody can play really well. Yeah, I was like, okay, hopefully he just doesn't see through this. And that is the story of how we rigged a competition to trick Martin into winning a gaming PC. He did actually get the PC, he just didn't really win it because it was actually his all along. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you as always for watching and for supporting the channel. And I want to give a big thanks to B1 Tech and Corsair for helping to make Martin's new PC awesome. Take care out there and I will see you down in the comments as well as in the next stream and or video. Bye.